What's up guys, we're here today with another Wi-Fi battle for you in the UU tier, and give me one second, and I will switch that over. For those of you who have not seen our team yet, I'll do a quick recap. If you haven't watched the last video, you should go watch that, because this is the second match we will be having with this team. We have Pandora, the Mega Absol, we have Crobat as our little mixed physical wall slash physical attacker, we have Donphan as our physical wall. We have Sweden Lucario, we have Infernape as our physical attacker, and then we have Gudra as our special slash, slash special attacker. So we're going to go ahead and back out of that and jump right into the battle. Switch my screen back. There we go. Take a quick picture of my opponent's team. See, my opponent brought one OU Mon. But we're gonna deal. <laughs> we're gonna deal. Looking at this though. What do I want to lead? Hmm. I see no reason to not lead with Pandora again. And then we can protect, Mega Evolve and protect, or switch out if we need to, but we'll find a way. Leads with the Drapion, okay. I don't want my opponent setting up toxic spikes. So I think I'm just gonna have to stay in. Looking at his team. Hmm. I'm just gonna stay in and night slash. I can't risk the toxic spikes coming up. We could potentially lose. Lose our Absol here. This for Night Slash. Does. Eh. More than I thought. Magic Bounce, there's Toxic Spikes right back. It's exactly why I wanted to stay in. <laughs> um. Looking at that, though. I'm just gonna go for a play rough because it's neutral. And we land it. Okay. Doesn't do a whole lot. I'm looking at that. Mm, I'm just gonna go for another play rough. So my opponent could send out the Gengar here and absorb those toxic spikes, but that's fine. Does got the Gengar, okay. I do pack the Sucker Punch on here, but I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to go for Night Slash. We don't see a Sash. This could potentially be a fast battle. Sadly, we don't have those Toxic Spikes up anymore. I don't think we're carrying a Grass-type move anymore either. There's the Intimidate, probably. This is potentially a Mega, too. I'm gonna switch out to Sweden. I don't particularly need Mega Absol anymore, but... I'll just keep it in the back just in case my opponent goes right for the Earthquake, okay. Bring me right down to my Sash. See that it's life orbed, okay. I'm just gonna go right for a dragon pulse here. If I sack this thing off, that's fine, I can get a little bit of chip damage off, and then my opponent's gonna take that life orb recoil. Goes for flail. What? <laughs> Never seen that before. On a Gyarados at least. So we brought my opponent down to 
below half. What do I want to use? <sighs> I can't risk Don Fan yet. Especially because there's still two water types on the field. Um, and I can't go for Thunder Punch on my Infernape because he has the Luxray and the Swampert. Hmm. I think this is a go good opportunity to just go right back out into Pandora. Now that I'm thinking about it, if this isn't the Mega, then Swampert's the Mega for sure. Unless my opponent just decided not to run a Mega. There goes that. So my opponent is down to the Swampert, Luxray, and Kecleon. But, there's the Kecleon, okay. Gengar didn't? That's right, Gengar has Levitate, so it didn't even mess with the Toxic Spikes. Okay, so we got this thing on a timer. I'm just gonna protect and see what this thing wants to do. Just for Drain Punch, okay. Doubt. It's gonna outspeed me, and I could play rough here. Potentially get rid of this thing. I probably will, but uh. I am just gonna go out to Don Fan here. I wanna get my rocks up. Rocks plus toxic spikes will help out a lot. If anybody's gonna take the hit, it's my Don fan. <laughs> Get a little bit of leftovers recovery. And that toxic damage. Okay. I'm setting up my stealth rocks here. No reason not to. Goes for ice punch. Ooh. But, I am a physical wall that could have potentially freezed. And there's my Stealth Rocks. I wonder what item my opponent has. But, in any case, I'm just gonna go right for the knockoff. Goes for Power Up Punch, okay. I could have lived another Ice Punch. <laughs> That's why I stayed in and just went for the knockoff, just so I could get rid of the Assault Vest. Okay. I don't know how common that actually is, but... Hmm. Just gonna let Don Fan go down here. I'm gonna go for the Ice Shard. That, okay, he's gonna get a little bit of health back. Not a whole lot. Can't remember if Toxic Spikes racks up over time. No, okay. Well, I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake. Goes for Ice Punch, okay. I don't want anything taking any damage, and I'm definitely glad I didn't switch into my Crobat right there. That could have potentially been very bad. Definitely can't switch into Gudra either. Um, kinda want to go into Infernape right here, and just go for the Mach Punch. Which I potentially think I will. 
Let me check my Guja's moves. Uh, Dragon Pulse, Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, okay. I'm just trying to think. I'm just gonna go out to Crobat. So I'm just trying to think of what that Swampert could have. My opponent is an Ice Typer. I'm just gonna go for the Cross Poison. Goes for Sucker Punch, okay. So this is a plus one Sucker Punch. Shouldn't do too much. Does a lot. <laughs> I guess it is a stab plus one. I definitely don't give Kecleon enough credit. It's basically like with this Protean or Protein, or however you want to pronounce it. It's basically like a little uh, Greninja. There's the Intimidate. I can see what this thing wants to do. I'm just going to go for a Roost. Shouldn't outspeed me. Eh, it doesn't. Unless it was Scarfed. Luxray is actually pretty slow. Goes for Ice Fang. If I don't see the Freeze, we see another Life Orb Mon. Okay. I'm just going to go for another Roost, because I really don't want to switch anything in to take the Ice Fang. I mean, barring Infernape will want to take it, but just in case it goes for an Electric type move, like that. So now, this thing's at about half. So, looking at the rest of my team, I can outspeed that thing. It's just this Mon right here that I don't want to mess around with so much. And I start to get worried because could carry the ice punch. Might see the uh, the ice punch here or the rain dance. If it wants to get that swift swim, I'm gonna take the better middle ground play and go for cross poison. Doesn't mega evolve. My opponent just goes for dive, okay. I don't know how much <laughs> my opponent does competitive, but I'm not gonna hold it against him. Just gonna roost right here. Go up to full. Dive really shouldn't do anything to me. But if somebody wants to battle, I will not deny them the right to battle. That's just my opinion. Unless it's like a horrible, horrible sweep that lasts like a five minute video. Then I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna show those. Still don't see the Mega Evolution. Did my opponent just not want to bring a Mega Mon? I mean, I'm not gonna switch out. See the Surf. I mean, everything my opponent had up until this point was <laughs> competitive, so... This might just be an iffy mon on his team. I know one of my opponents brings, like, uh, questionable mons and sets. At least, like, one per battle. Which cracks me up, but, you know, I don't hold it against them. They want to battle. I'll battle. Now we're in a position where... I mean, I'm just gonna stay in. No reason not to. Just gonna cross poison. Match was forfeited, all right. Well, my opponent made it pretty far, but I guess there is no situation where my opponent was going to win that one, but 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. I will have another battle up on Saturday with the same team, and then next week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I was about to say Friday, I'm going to have another UU team. I decided to do two weeks of UU because I'm having pretty good fun in UU, and I know some people really wanted to have me play a lot of UU matches. Let me back out of this real quick so I don't keep my opponent waiting. Uh... I know a lot of people were wanting to see UU matches. So I'm just going to do another week next week of UU and then we're going to go down to RU and then NU slash PU because I don't want to just do straight PU. And then back up to OU and then we're just going to rotate from there. Probably until Sun and Moon comes out and then I'm probably going to have some free for alls for you guys. I have a group of people. I just got to sit down and record like four episodes of the free for alls. Four, five. I don't know. Probably about four. I'm probably just going to have, like, the last week just straight, like, free-for-alls before Sun and Moon, but who knows? We'll see. Anyways, sorry for taking up your time rambling a little bit. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.